Well, hey guys, it's Adam aka <laughs> Soy Bird. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, you know, each each night uh, I change into a different costume so that the next day I'll have something else on. And I completely forgot that I, <laughs> I changed into this. So Shrunk has been, you know, I got all Shrunk's jokes. So I figure maybe I'll try my hand at stand-up comedy. I have Shrunk's uh, nice little shirt here. And uh, a good little outfit. Ooh, nice mushroom here. I went and so this is the Afro wig. It's uh, I think it's called Afro wig, right? Uh, it's kind of weird. It uh, changes with your hair color. The Afro cap. There we go. And I went and got my hair changed just specifically for this, so I would look like a good comedian here. But anyways, uh, <laughs> so what are what's going on today? Now I'm gonna check my mail. Uh, I, I, Ripot is coming tomorrow, so I feel like I need to get the town ready for him, but I don't know what preparations we can do. He's probably just going to come in and destroy a ton of flowers. Hopefully it doesn't screw up my perfect rating here. We got a letter from Genji. Let's check it out. Hey, oh, <coughs> excuse me. This is from Genji. Hey, Adam. Man, you've really got it together. Your house is almost as cool as mine. Still, I thought I could use a little flavor, so I'm giving you this. Let me know if you like it. Genji the genius. So Genji did come over, and he spent way too long in my house. I was kind of uh, multitasking. I was watching Parks and Rec, and I was having him over. He gave me a salad bar. Um, so I was multitasking, and that caused me to not pay attention to the fact that he wanted to see the other rooms in my house, so he was in there extra long and uh, wouldn't leave until he got to see some of the other rooms. But eventually he left. Let's see, we got a few other letters here today. One from Pinky. To, mm, I forgot what her noise. Oh, <laughs> to wanna be Adam. If you want to change your image, you should try my certified popularity growth plan. It's totally fail-proof. Simply pose all cool wearing this. You'll be it for sure. Pop Princess Pinky. So Pinky, Pinky's on my list of villagers. I might, you know, be okay with them moving out. I think I prefer Tangy between the two peppy villagers. Icy shirt. I already have one of those. And then, oh sweet. My home has exceeded 70,000 points, so I have a special gift here. I did expand one of my rooms. Let me go show you guys my house. A gold Happy Home Academy plaque. Sweet. I think I already have a silver one upstairs. But yeah, my, my house has slowly been expanding. I think I got this. Okay, so the left room is the crowded one. I just got that expanded uh, overnight, so this should be open now. Um, but I've been reorganizing stuff. I did get my, like, Moai head and a few things. Now, here we go. I'm gonna have to really reorganize this, because look at all this stuff, all the coffee stuff I've just kind of been cramming here. But yeah, we should be able to do... I can grind some coffee while I'm here. But yeah, I, I'm gonna mess with that. I'm not really sure what to theme that room. It's just a weird storage space for musical instruments and coffee. Uh, related accessories, <laughs> but my back room I've I've redone. This knight is now guarding the back room, and I have my moai head in the corner, which I think looks pretty good. Got a lot of like worldly stuff going on. I have an extra uh, marine song 2001, so I put that on the wall. So if anyone, you know, street uh, spot passes with me or street passes with me, I mean, they can get that. I've got my little music box in here. I put my uh, rooster up there, so things are going nicely here. Let's see what my fortune is for today. Yesterday I did this, and it was like talking about being like manly and playing sports, and then it was like, your magical item is a lady's accessory. <laughs> so today is, don't get down if debating whether or not you should buy something uh, costs you an I the item. Uh, chalk it up to experience. A hat. Okay, well, I have a hat on, so I should be good. Uh, I gotta check on these turnips today. Let's, it's almost noon, so I should probably go check on the turnips first thing, and then we can do some other stuff. I just figured I'd show you some of the expansions in my house and see what's going on with those. I don't really have a stand-up act prepared to uh, to deliver for you guys, so hopefully this... Uh... Oh, yeah. So I have... Um, I've got this nice, sweet, demon-possessed sword or whatever it is. It's got some type of crazy power in it. That's awesome. And then I still have a bunch of my Nintendo items here. I forget if I showed you any of these that I can, like, launch this ball down. If any, if anybody tries to invade my house, I will lure them into the side room with all my toys. And I'll shoot little ping pong balls at them. So we should be good on that end. And then if I want to spy on my neighbors, I got my super scope here that can do that. So yeah, things are going good in this room. <laughs> Eventually I'm going to, like, redesign this whole place, but I still need to expand, I think... A couple sizes, like the two side, the three side rooms all need to be expanded one more, and I also need to build the basement on. I should put this gold plaque somewhere, but I, I can mess with that later. Can I eat this inside? Because this is a famous mushroom, and you know what these do? Nom nom nom! Whoa! I hit the roof. 
<laughs> I like how he's confused by that. What? I guess I just grew or something. So, um, <laughs> what was I going to... Oh, I had something I was going to say about the, the room expanding or something. But then I got distracted by my Mario mushroom. All right, so let's go see what the turnip price is and who is in town today and all that good stuff. So Ribot's coming tomorrow. Hopefully he doesn't destroy my rating here. I'm worried, like, he's going to place his house and somehow get rid of just enough trees and flowers. That's fake. To uh, ruin my perfect town rating. But I don't know. I, that seems kind of unlikely, I guess. So, yeah, here we go. I don't know if I have enough. I was stocking up a ton of money since I haven't been putting any into the town, but I did pay off a bit of my house and expand it. Oh, somebody bought something while I was gone. Okay, and oh yeah, I put my robot closet for sale to make or to be revamped, so now it is an evil one. And I think if Ribot doesn't already have robot stuff in his house, I'm gonna try to uh, give him a bunch. Who put this for sale? Rofina. I feel like I might have given that to her. Anyway, so let me check the turnip prices before we run out of time here. That was what I was going to say. Okay, so when I was eating... Oh, sweet. Okay, that's a little bit more than what I bought them for, so I might as well do it. But when I was uh, trying to throw my turnips on the floor, here's a warning to anyone. Like, if you're trying to throw them on the ground, you can do something in your items menu. I'll show you. It's like you go into here, and then if you drag something and drop it on the ground, like it highlights the ground, it'll drop it. But if you accidentally drag it on your person and it is something that you could eat, you will eat it. And even if it's a hundred turnips. <laughs> and I accidentally ate a bunch of turnips again. That's the second time that happened. One of the times I accidentally just selected eat on accident, but but yeah. So there's a hundred turnips down the drain. That's a bit of my profit. I'm probably going to break out even or have lost money from this turnip deal because of that. <laughs> but oh well, I'm gonna go back here and grab my turnips and then we'll see what's going on in town. I just really got to sell these before the clock turns over. Unless I want to risk it and try to see if they're worth more later. I don't know. I think I might as well just sell them now. Let's grab these. I should have good luck today, though, because I've got my uh, my lucky hat on. I look like an old-fashioned um, Japanese comedian from, like, the 80s. I think that's what they're going for, because they, they used to have a lot of, like, over-the-top kind of zany prop comics and stuff, like... Make me think of, like, Carrot Top or Gallagher over here. But a lot of their comedians kind of have that style, it seemed like. So anyways, let's go sell these real quick. I got so many fruit to pick. That's that's the one thing, like, I like fishing, I like catching beetles. There's lots of stuff in this game that is fun that hasn't really worn on me, even though I've been playing this for several, mo several months now. But the one thing that I kind of get sick of is picking fruit. And that was what happened in the old Animal Crossings as well. That used to be the major money source. Now I could probably just... I don't really need to sell any of the fruit, and I could still get a ton of money by going and catching uh, animal or uh, bugs and stuff. What can I sell of these? I don't know if I need the salad bar. Let's sell that and the icy shirt. All right. I could actually give the salad bar to someone, I guess. All right. This is good. Let's see how much I get for all these. But yeah, the, the fruit picking... This is kind of tedious. If the fruit automatically stacked, I think I would like it more. But that's something that they could maybe improve for the Wii U version. Just make the fruit auto stack. That would be super nice. All right, let's put this salad bar on sale and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, 750. How about 3,000? I usually mark it up a good amount. <laughs> the villagers will pay for it. Oh, this is crazy. This looks like it looks like just like mustard and ketchup and different stuff. Hey, Cranston, how's it going? So I'm not sure. Cranston, I like Cranston. Oh, he wants the pitfall. Yeah, he's not getting that. That's too expensive. Um, <laughs> so Cranston, I don't, I don't know. He's on the edge of my favorite villagers or ones that I could be okay losing, because now we have Drago, and Drago is also a lazy villager. So it's like I don't know. You know, we could. I don't know. I feel like Drago is more special, but Cranston has a place in my heart. So. I don't know if I want to lose him. Pinky and Avery might be the two that I think I could stand to lose the most, but I'll have to think about it, and I'll take you guys your opinions into consideration, guys. Cause oh, fortune, ah, sweet Katrina's here. Um, cause yeah, I want to I want to see which ones are the most beloved by you guys, cause it's important. Cause I uh, I don't know. I like all. It's just it sucks that there's you can only have ten, but I guess that's I don't know. That's a lot of villagers. Speaking of villagers, hey Tangy, how's your morning, Dumpling? Hope it's great, man. What's up? 
What's up? Hey, can I have a favor? I bought a present for Pinky, but I'm too busy to take it over there. So, I don't. I'm trying not to talk to Pinky because if I want her to leave, the best way to do it, if I, I've probably mentioned in previous episodes, is not to talk to them because eventually they'll just leave. That's a good way to ruin your real life relationships too. If you just ignore someone and <laughs> don't talk to them, eventually they'll stop talking to you. Oh, usually. All right. So I still need a few more fortunes. We have a few a few things on Main Street that we have to finish, and one of them is if I get enough fortunes told, Katrina will move in on Main Street. And now that I have the lovely phone, it's not really that useful to have her around, but I do want to complete Main Street and see what her shop looks like and everything. So I think it would be uh, important to get these fortunes when I can. Oh, my, the stars have conspired that your fated cookie is missing its fortune. You needn't worry about it actually happening, though. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh, yes, I can. I see disaster upon your items. Hat. This item will be the key. Oh, so she basically said the same thing that the... I thought it would maybe change my fortune, but I guess it's predetermined for the day. I don't know. I've never actually tried calling the, the lovely phone multiple times. Okay. I like to think of that when, you know, when... When things aren't going well, just think that, you know, bad times are just times that are bad, and you can get through them. So, <laughs> anyways, so there's Katrina. What is, I thought I saw, oh, somebody lost a mitten. Why are they, it's summer, I know it's almost fall, but come on guys, why are they dropping mittens around? I'll have to see if I can find who's the lucky person who dropped this. Oh no, Pinky, I gotta give her the present anyways. Oh, you know what? I've been thinking a lot lately about how awesome gift exchanges are. It's a great way to get rid of something you don't want and get something new, Twinkles. How about it? Something of mine for something of yours? Let's do it. Take this mitten. How about my day's tea for... No way. Ugh. You don't like that trade? Well, maybe some other time, Twinkles. Alright, so I guess I gotta talk to her. Oh my glob! Did you, like, need me for anything? Delivery time. I, there's, like, so many options, because I have to deliver the present. I have to ask her about the mitten. And I could just talk to her normally. What, Tangy sent this over? Hey, what do you think is inside? I'll give you something fun if you guess right. I'm gonna guess it is... Furniture. I don't... I have no idea, though. And I can't even see. Her big head is in the way. Nope, sorry, it's clothing. I almost was gonna say clothing. Anyways, thanks for bringing this over to me, Smoopy. Well, I gotta ask you about this mitten, too, because... You seem just dumb enough to have worn a mitten <laughs> in summer. <laughs> so here you go. So I need to, uh, I need to, f f let's see, nope, it's not hers. I need to stock up on bugs for the bug off, so we could do an episode, uh, soon here where I go to the island and, and just, you know, have a, have a nice chill bug catching episode. I usually do that on my own, I don't usually show that. How's your mate, Martin, shaping up? Did you drop this mitten, Graham? It looks a little too big for his hands. Um, some of the other things I could do, there's always more dream towns to visit, so I, I, I feel like I need to do that again sometime here to kind of mix it up. I want to keep things fresh and make sure each episode is a unique little experience. But today, like, kind of going around, talking to people, doing this type of thing, I don't usually do this that often, so I think it is a nice change of pace sometimes. Is Avery home? You know, we should check if Drago's home. And there is a balloon floating by, and it's just one with a silver... It's just got a silver slingshot in there. I don't really need it, but I could get it because uh, I can. that'll go towards my achievements for how many presents I've shot down. <laughs> so I might as well do that. Let me grab this. Here we... Oh, I popped one of them. There we go. Yeah, I already have the golden slingshot. <laughs> I, that thing almost fell into the flowers anyway, so it didn't really matter too much. Brofina's not home. Drago, please be home. Dang it. Where are you, Drago? If you say on a snack run, yep, <laughs> Drago. Let's, uh, oh, Mantis is mad. Let's go work in the cafe real quick and then we'll finish up. I actually forgot to do it yesterday, so we'll have to see who was coming to uh, drink some coffee today. Hello, Booster. Good to see you. All right, let's work. I think I actually have room in my inventory. Last time he was just like, you got too much stuff. I cannot give you the pay. And the coffee beans. You have to have at least two spots, I think, because you need to be able to get coffee beans and an item. Hey, give me the usual. Okay, Avery likes one spoon, Kilimanjaro, and just a bit. 
So yeah, I have, I still have like Mira's and Nan's coffee stuff written down. I guess I don't need them anymore. Just a bit and one spoon. I almost did the wrong thing there. So yeah, I, I think I also writ, I wrote down Tiffany. And I, I think Tiffany was like a rabbit that came in like one time. I don't know why I really needed to write her stuff down. But my, my sheet of coffee stuff is pretty crowded. I could probably use a better organized piece of paper here. But yeah, this, this piece of paper gets used very often because every every day I gotta ch check it and uh, make sure I'm marking it up. Hey, Tangy, I think she's Blue Mountain regular too. Yep, there we go. Starting to remember these by heart, and every time I think about that, it worries me a little. <laughs> but save some time. Sometimes I uh, I'm not at the computer when I do the you know I'll do the coffee on my own occasionally, and I don't have the sheet with me, and I try to do it by memory, but I usually screw up. All right, Tangy, I'm used to her having the elephant shirt on, so now that she has that gym shirt, it looks weird. Anyways, let's see if we get... Oh, <laughs> poor Brewster. Cranston. I was hoping we would get a villager from another town, because I like seeing some of those guys. But we should have a special villager, too. All right, blend and none. He's so lazy that he doesn't want to be awake anymore. I guess there's still caffeine in here. It's not, If he doesn't use sugar or anything, it's not like he's not getting the caffeine. But yeah, I'm starting to get to the point now that, like, it wasn't long after I, I played uh, Animal... Well, I started uh, playing this game that I was like, maybe I should... I think it was right around the time that I got the cafe. It's weird how this game can, like, influence real life, but I started drinking coffee. But now I'm at the point where if I don't drink coffee, I have, like, less energy than I used to. <gasps> Kicks! Has he ever come in here before? I don't think he has. We'll have a cup of the usual place. All right, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I don't think he's been in here before. I need to write his name down. I just dropped my pen cap. Kix, the cutest little skunk in the world. Let's guess. Okay, so I'll say Mocha. I don't know, I just saw his hat and it looked like a Mocha. And we'll do a regular amount and maybe three spoonfuls of sugar. Let's try all those. I like to, yeah, just do cast a wide net. <laughs> He's got a little updo, his little his little skunk hair sticking out. I wish he like it was more important to go see him. Like he has some stuff, young sir. <laughs> He's one of my favorite character designs. Oh, crickets! Well, this smells like he's got milk in it, and it's not quite as sweet as I like. Not to worry, young barista. It's just not what I was expecting. So put me off guard. I'll be back again now. So he, I thought I put three spoonfuls of sugar, and he was like, he wants more sugar. I don't know. I completely lost what he wanted there. I think he likes mocha though. Seems like possible. All right. So yeah, I, I didn't get him, but hopefully I get another Brewstoid here. It's weird, we're almost done with the cafe already too, like, we can still come by to get coffee beans easy to, uh, to, to, to sell for stuff, but it's just sad that it's like, oh no, we're gonna run out of coffee, or reasons to work here for the most part, you know, it's like shrunk, I get a little sad that we got all the jokes, but we are just, you know, accomplishing all the things that a good mayor should do, go to the comedy club and <laughs> just serve coffee to the citizens. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what type of episode you want to see, because I do want to try to keep the variety going. Hopefully we'll get Katrina in the town eventually here. 20 fortunes is a lot. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy this. I'll shoot, make it look like I'm shooting Brufina at least. Bam! Go right into it. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye.